Hi everybody, this is Vitorials, and today I am gonna show you how to create this stunning infographic in the Adobe Illustrator. Whether you want to create a great looking presentation and add this infographic elements to impress your audience, or you simply gonna put muscle hierarchy of needs here on this cone, but you can create it easily. And we are going to do that right now. So let's start with a new document. Go to File, New. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 by 1080. Click Create. And next I'm gonna turn off my Align Art to Pixel Grid and increase the row size of my layer. So go to my Panel Options and Set 70 pixels here. Next I'm gonna grab all of these colors and paste it in my new artboard. So I've done with all of my preparation steps and I'm ready to go. Let's start with the polygon tool. Hit on your artboard and set this number of sides of your polygons to 3 and the radius of your polygon to 550 pixels and click OK. Now <clears throat> set the stroke color to none, clicking on the slash and change the fill color to something, something completely different so we can easily distinguish our uh, triangle on this white background. Next I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool and hold in shift Click this anchor point on the top and this anchor point on the right and then go to my alignment options and align them to the left, horizontally to the left. Like so. Next I am gonna grab my rectangle grid tool and double click on it. On the open menu set the vertical divides to zero. We are going to work only with rows and set the number of horizontal dividers to 4 to create 5 rows and now set the skew value to 25. Skew value is a value that allows you to, to set distribution of the height of your rows. In this particular case, every next row will be at 25% taller than our previous one. Let's check the example. So I am creating a grid and as you can see our top row road is the <coughs> highest and our bottom ro uh, row is the smallest. So I am gonna give this a black stroke by double clicking and checking this color and then I am gonna size my grid according to my rectangle like so. Make sure that your smart lights turn it on. Ctrl U or Command U to turn your smart lights. And then I am gonna select both of them, this triangle and this grid and go to my shape builder tool and slice these pieces like so. Then return to my selection tool and open the menu, right mouse button click to open this context menu and ungroup all composition and get rid of this tough clicking backspace. So we now can access to every of this rectangle and I'm gonna recolor every one of these. I have my colors, so I just simply use my airdropper tool to give them these field colors. So we have our 2D object. We need to go to the effect, 3D and revolve. In open dialog box we need to check preview. And now we have the cylinders, and but we need a cones. To create a cones, choose the 
offset from right edge choose this option here and then I am gonna adjust this x y z axis so I'm gonna feather 0 to the z axis and feather 0 to y axis and increase the angle decrease the angle of my x uh, axis to minus 30 plus uh, 30 degrees and then I'm gonna choose the from surface soil surface options I'm gonna choose no shading no shading at all only a solid colors I'm gonna explain you a little bit later why I choose no shading so click OK and we have all the scones they are looking great right now I'm gonna give all of the scones its own layer so create a four layers and then place this guy on top then this on this layer and then this on this layer and this mint on this layer so we have our 3d shape we have our cones and we need to go to object expand appearance so we have now a walking groups and I want to clean up a little bit and adjust the color colors um, of, of my shapes so first of, I will start with the top one and click right mouse button click choose ungroup from my options then ungroup again and here I have a bunch of stuff as you can see I have this group this uh, front view but I also have this part and I want to combine them. I don't know uh, why Illustrator renders in this, this way, but uh, all of these groups share the same similarities. They have this group and this group, this small piece and this large piece. So I want to combine these views. First of all, I want to ungroup this. And then I want to select both of them, go to my Pathfinder and click on this first icon from left, Unite. If you can find your Pathfinder, go to the Windows Pathfinder. So we have our first cone. We can, by the way, get rid of the unnecessary stuff, if you want so. And I want to clean up the, uh, my second shape. So ungroup, ungroup, I need to do the same job here, but I need to provide one more additional step. I want to recolor this roof. To recolor this roof, this object here, I want to go to recolor art rock tool and then increase the saturation of this. Uh, ellipse and decrease the brightness of this ellipse. I think I need to decrease it on 20%. Choose the color art. I am happy with this result and click OK. So we recolored. Now we, I need to, com to combine. And I do not want you to bother with this repetitive work. I just want to hustle a little bit my tutorial. So ungroup, ungroup, select and recolor, and then unite the sheet. So I make an, an adjustment to these uh, shapes, and I am ready to go. Next step, we need to add some shading, but before we start, I want to create a layer and uh, put the shading uh, on this layer. 
So first of all, we need to uh, select all of these shapes and using Ctrl C, Ctrl F, produce a duplicate of this cone and then holding on this uh, small square, paste it on the new layer and then I'm gonna go to my specifier and, and unite them. And as you can see, we have, uh, and I want to reduce the steps and I want this line to be more straight. To make this, I want to return to my shapes, delete this uh, united shape with the backspace and return to my and uh, scale, it, scale it a little bit. So I want to, for my top shape, I choose non-uniform, horizontal, horizontally scaling to 90 degrees and click OK. Then I choose for my second shape 93 degrees. Then I choose for my, I'm sorry, I choose for my third shape uniform night oh, I do not select this shape click on this bullet to select all of your pieces double click and I choose 95 degrees click OK and for this shape I choose uh, 97 degrees so as well we need to click all of them and now just type a 97 degrees like so and for this shape I choose click on this bullet I choose 98 degrees maybe even no maybe even 99 degrees and click OK so we have uh, we do I'm doing a little adjustment maybe I need to scale a little bit more this shape but uh, let's let's see so create a duplicate with ctrl C ctrl F all of the shapes paste this duplicate on the new layer and then go to Pathfinder and unite the shape uh, well it looks better especially here and here but it's still we should produce a little bit more adjustment so okay I think you got the point and you produce all unnecessary steps to reduce the width of these uh, two cones I do not want to stop on this step and I want to give this shape this upper shape solid shape a gradient and as you can see this gradient is doesn't work well I want to adjust the uh, black car color stop and to do that I want to double click on it and move the slider to the left on 30 degrees as you can see here there is a 30 degrees uh, oh I'm sorry there is a 30 percent gray now so we have our uh, white to gray gradient and I want to change the direction of my gradient by clicking on this icon reverse gradient. And um, I also want to change a little bit angle of my gradient to 90 degrees. So as you can see I have an optimal gradient here that's starting from my top and my top is the lightest part of this of this shape and my bottom is the darkest and think of, okay then I want to switch the top to transparency if you can find your transparency panel go to the windows transparency and then I want to choose, change the blending mode from normal to multiply and this produce this result you can um, check this is without gradient this is with gradient this is some kind of a lazy way to create this gradient.
And now I want to put some icons and produce a final transformation with my icons. I want to grab them from my from my stairs tutorial. You can check and follow the link in the description how to create this infographic and paste it in my new in this layer. I want to align them like so and uh, set the stroke color to none and set the color to white so it's disappear on my white board and I'm gonna grab them here they look not quite bad actually but I want to make some adjustment to them First of all, let me align them properly. I'm gonna align them horizontally to the center. And then I want to visit my warp tool and apply a warp. As you can see, we need to move this uh, slider here, this band slider. But I want to... And I want to very tiny adjustment here. Otherwise, they look very ugly. Around negative 3%, maybe even negative 2%, like so. And then go to object and expand the appearance. So it's look much better and uh, maybe uh, I'll reduce the size of this coffee cup, like so, and this presentation template, like so. So this is actually the end of our tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, visit tutorials.net. Uh, you can download this as a freebie file, following the link in the description. Thank you for following to the end, and I will come back to you very soon.